Hi everyone, this is the Your As Sweet as a Peach card, and in this video, I'll be going through the steps for putting this card together. So, let's get started. In your kit, you will have uh, one of the envelope packages, and in there, you have your label, and the label for all of the cards in this kit came were cut, excuse me, were cut using the Tasteful Labels die, um, die set. They have a variety of shapes, so I tried to keep it simple and use all of the, the same dies for um, a variety of label shapes. And then also in there, you have three of the little loose leaf flourishes. These um, are one of the new embellishments in the uh, new catalog, and they come in sort of this peach color, really, is what I call it. They call it pale papaya, but it, it also they also come in a pink color, and which uh, is the new pink in color, which I think it's, I'm not sure what that pink, Powder pink. No, it's more. Let me just step over here and look. Oh. Polished pink. So polished pink and then the uh, fresh freesia color, which those blend with a lot of the different colors from Stampin' Up. So that's those work good. Then you have the pale papaya ribbon, uh, which is one of the new in color ribbons. Then for the card itself, you will have a little strip of the designer series paper, which I have used, as you will see, on the interior of the card. So you can just hold that off to the side when you finish the card and decide if you want to use it or not. Then you have a strip of the designer series paper uh, with the stripes, and that's two and a half by four and a quarter. Then you also have a piece of uh, Calypso Coral, that's two and seven eighths by four and a quarter. A piece, uh, the Peach Designer Series paper, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And as you see, I've completely covered the card front. And then of course, your basic white thick uh, card base, which is, um, 11 and a half by four and a quarter scored in the middle at 11, excuse me, 11 inches and scored in the middle at five and a half so that you have a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. So the first step is to fold that and go ahead and burnish it. The colors that we're using to stamp with for the sentiment, you're as sweet as a peach. Obviously, if you don't have this stamp, if you um, did not order this bundle, I think there were a couple of you that decided you had uh, stamps that were similar to this that you could use. So you can select your sentiment that will fit inside that label. We've stamped that in the Calypso Coral, and then the tiny leaves are in the Pear Pizzazz um, to go with the uh, embellishments. So those are the items. Let me just move a couple things out of the way. So then we can go ahead and attach your designer series paper to your card front after you've furnished it. And I'm just using the Snell adhesive. Typically, um, when I do something like this, this isn't Snell, it's the stamp and seal. Uh, I like to use liquid adhesive, but just because I wanted uh, to go ahead and move forward with this, I'm using the tape adhesive. 
So we just line that up, press that down. And we have, have that on your card. And if you have a little piece that hangs over after you've completed the card, uh, just take your paper snips and go along the edge. Then the next step will be to take your Calypso Coral and then the striped piece, and you'll want to center this. If you notice, from top to bottom, it's the same length so that it covers, but I, want, I wanted a little border on each side of using the Calypso Coral. Just that, by placing that directly on there, that's a lot of pattern, but just by adding it, that little bit on each side, it just seems to, to soften some of that busyness. So we'll go ahead and add this. Now when you, we'll get this put on. We don't want to add it to the card yet because as you'll notice we've wrapped a little bit of the ribbon around the bottom so don't get ahead of me or you won't you'll have a lot of extra ribbon <laughs> so let's get this placed down and then we'll hold that to the side for a moment let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment piece and the reason I do that is just so I can get a rough idea where I want to place the ribbon after I've done that. So, let's, we're going to stamp the You're as Sweet as a Peach. And this is actually two stamp sets. Uh, the You're As is a separate stamp. So what I have, what I did when I stamped it was, I I stamped the larger sentiment first, which is the sweet as a peach. Let me get this ink off of my finger. I just let me move this up so you can see. Make sure I have it straight before I stamp it. And I'm stamping it a little bit, fudging it closer to the right of that label so that I have room for the other items. And now I'm taking the Your Ass. I've inked that and just stamping it right above that. Oh, I had too much ink, but that's okay. I inked it too much, but I'm going to leave that. Once it dries, it's good, but I, I actually pressed too much on that, so I picked up too much ink. But there again, as I said, it's, it's quite all right. Once it dries, it doesn't look quite as bad. And then the leaves are in the pair of pizzazz. And I'm just putting a couple leaves along the sides where I will add those. And I think on that one, I'm just going to put the one. Even though on my sample, I did two. I think one set of leaves is plenty on that. So now, go ahead and pull your ribbon in. We'll determine where we're going to place our label. Just so we have an idea. And place your ribbon down. And let's cut... Let me grab my ribbon shears 
and I'm cutting it just a little bit wider than the card itself because I do want to give myself enough ribbon to tie a small bow with. So we're going to take this now, just lay it across, and that's roughly a third up, a third of the card. So we'll flip it over put our adhesive on the back and fold that ribbon around. Make sure we have it even. Okay, now we can center this onto the card front and I did not elevate this. I kept this piece flat the label will be lifted using the dimensionals. So, just so you know how I did that. Obviously, it's your card. You, you can opt to lift it. But I just thought, instead of adding too much bulk, that just lifting the sentiment was enough. So we've oops, added that to the card front. Now we will take our dimensionals and add that to the card front. And I probably go overkill on dimensionals, but I would rather have too much to ensure that it stays on the card than not enough. So now you add that. Then let's take our small little flower embellishments. And use our glue dots, which I just dropped. Let me reach another set. So we take our glue dots and just place it on the glue dot and then lift quickly, and you should lift that off. And then just place it right by the leaves. Now I found with this small, these the smaller flowers, you could use liquid adhesive because these glue dots are a little bit larger than the flower, but I pulled it off and then I just sort of took and rolled it with my fingers to roll that glue dot behind. And that worked very good to do it that way. I'm just too impatient to wait for the liquid adhesive to dry on these when you add these. And then I just did this to be a, a little cluster of flowers there. And then just let's tie our ribbon into a small bow. This ribbon ties like a charm. I found I did not even need to use my little ribbon tie. And you can make that as large or as small as you want. And then you'll add that. You can add it as any way you would like. I'm going to add mine right to the side by that edge, that left edge of the label. You can play around with it and place it where you think you would like it to go. So there, 
we have and then of course to finish the interior you can you can stamp another sentiment you can stamp a peach a, a little uh blossom or put the strip on the inside which is what I've opted to do and I just put it across the bottom there there so here we now have completed the you're as sweet as a peach card